Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. For those of you that are unaware, I review everything that gets released on Netflix. So if you're ever curious about a new movie, series, or show, if you want to know if it's any good or not, come to my channel and I will let you know. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Justice Served. Now, I genuinely forgot that this was supposed to be coming out on Friday, so I only started watching it at 10 o'clock at night. It is now like... Jeez, it is, it's 5 to 4. So it's literally 4 a.m. at the moment. I stayed up all that time watching the show because it had me hooked from beginning to end. Um, very often when it comes to South African property, I mean, I don't, I don't want to sound like the stereotypical viewer, but, you know, South African properties do have a specific reputation. And I was like, you know what? Well, hopefully this is going to be a good South African show. Thankfully. This isn't just a good South African show. This is a good show. Like, I don't want to just say, oh yeah, this was good for South Africa. No, this was good on an international scale. Ever since the first scene, the raw intensity and emotion of that scene, it just keeps going throughout the whole show. This show was so, so, so well made. And it tackles some incredibly deep themes. And flip. Like, I'm almost speechless. So let's break down exactly what I loved about Justice Served. But first, let's break down the story just a smidgen. Ultimately, we follow the antagonists. The antagonists really drive the story. We spend just as much time with them as we do with the protagonists of the show. And ultimately, they are a group of terrorists, or in their case, what they view themselves as is freedom fighters, who are ultimately breaking into a courthouse. They're holding everyone hostage because they want to turn the, uh, the case that's currently happening into a political statement. And ultimately, they're going to be holding the man on trial hostage and letting South Africa themselves vote. Is he going to live or is he going to die? But it gets so much deeper than that. And what the show does so well is really just, sorry, my dogs are busy. <laughs> I've just woken them up because it's usually when they start to wake up. Um, Shush. So I'm just going to run through off the top of my head a few of the themes that really stood out to me. Of course, we've got racism. We've got social and political unrest. We've got um, the effects of past trauma on current generations, especially in regards to things like apartheid. Um, we've got PTSD. We've got the effects of war on everyday civilians. A ton of really heavy stuff. And what's so great is both the protagonists and the antagonists all are set up to help explore these themes. There's no one fixed good person or evil person. Everyone is written so that you can understand their motivations from every side. This show actually asks you the question, which side are you on? Are you on the side of the police? Are you on the side of the freedom fighters? And even the characters we watch, we watch them grow as their perceptions and their ideas change throughout the show. It's such a great um, representation in many ways of our current political and sociological landscape of South Africa, of our country. Um, Collision, which was another Netflix South African property that just released, also focused a lot on how the average South African citizen is currently viewing the country. Although that focused a lot more on xenophobia and, um, and class, this one focuses a lot more on the morality of the country. But I think with all of this South African content coming out, a lot of it, in my opinion, feels a lot like protest theatre, which is something that was in, in an abundance during the apartheid era. So it's great to see these movie makers, these people that are, you know, busy pioneering South African films and shows. Um, you can see that they've taken influence from the past. You can see that they've taken influence and that they've learned from those that came before. And we definitely have that protest theater seeping into the, um, the media that's coming out of the country at the moment. Because as a country, I feel like we are all of a similar belief and understanding on, on, our, on our frustrations in regards to how the government is running the country. We've got things like load shedding, petrol prices increasing. The, the list could honestly go on. I could turn this into an entire you know, video, just me breaking down what I think needs to be improved in regards to the country. But um, the show does a great job. I, I said this about Collision as well, of just holding up a mirror to South Africa and really just going, 
This is our current life. What are we going to do to, to change that? And um, flip. It's, 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 it's a tough one. And I'm really glad that there's a lot of properties coming out recently that really just causes the viewer to reflect on South Africa. How are we as a society, as South Africans, going to try and make this country better? So yeah, guys, I've broken down the themes a lot. From a technical point of view, this series is also great. I mean, I said from the very first scene to the final scene, it's, it's world class. This isn't just, you know, great by South African standards. In my opinion, this is great from, from you know, a global standard. Actors as well, phenomenal. Recently, I spoke about how Solomon had was the most frustrating character ever. Solomon um, from the, the live action series Snowflake Mountain. But there is a character in this show that pissed me off so much, like made me feel violently angry. And again, maybe it's just because I'm incredibly, incredibly tired. I mean, I've stayed up all night watching the show, but you, I wanted to throttle this character. <laughs> and um, I think that character in particular actually shows... I'm not going to give names because I don't want to ruin character motivations because this happens in the later part of the series. But um, we, we see how selfishness and one's ego can drive people to, to do the right thing but for the wrong reason. And the results that come about because of those actions aren't actually good or, or aren't what even they were hoping the outcome would be. But that's what happens when the individual uses a movement of the people to try to put themselves up on a pedestal. So yeah, guys, flip. I have to say, not just if you're South African, just anyone in general, if you want a well-written show that is incredibly tense, makes you question your, your I wouldn't say question your own morality, but really question how the country itself deals with its own moral standing, then this is definitely a show for you because flip, roller coaster of emotions. But guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this review. I really do appreciate it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel as well. It would mean the world to me. And I hope to see you again in another review. Mm -hmm.